a chord is drawn inside a circle such that the length of the chord is equal to the radius of the circle now two circles are drawn one on each side of the chord each touching the chord at its midpoint and the original circle let k be the ratio of the areas of the bigger inscribed circle and the smaller inscribed circle oh my god very confusing thanks so let's draw our big circle first with some radius such that length of the chord is equal to the radius draw here now if the chord is equal to the radius then this is an equilateral triangle oab right now what are we saying so far so good till here i could understand easily now two circles are drawn one on each side of the chord each touching the chord at its midpoint and the original circle so at its midpoint and the original circle so we are effectively talking about a circle like this and a circle like this part in my diagram we not worried about the diagram we looking worried about the concept the funda once you crack this this question becomes very doable how so or uh, we need to find a ratio of the areas of bigger to smaller this radius is r this is r1 this is r2 if we find ratio of r1 to r2 we are through fine wonderful how do we do that look at our triangle oab oab this is radius this is radius ab is also radius so oc is root 3 by 2 r wonderful the moment you crack this you are through how so think about it diameter of larger circle now this this will touch somewhere here and then go like this that will be the dia of this will be radius plus root 3 by 2 r diameter of the smaller circle this circles diameter going to be radius minus root 3 by 2 r ratio of areas is going to be ratio of the radii square so i'm going to take lcm this is 2 plus root 3 by 2 times radius this is 2 minus root 3 by 2 times radius the diameters ratio of diameters is going to be ratio of radii ratio of area is going to be square of this or we are looking at 2 plus root 3 square is to 2 minus root 3 square 2 plus root 3 square is to 2 minus root 3 square so 4 plus 3 plus 4 root 3 is to 4 plus 3 minus 4 root 3 or the ratio is 7 plus 4 root 3 by 7 minus 4 root 3 multiply and divide by 7 plus 4 root 3 Seven minus four root three into seven plus four root three delightfully forty nine minus minus forty eight, which is one. In other words, we are looking at seven plus four root three by seven minus four root three. Multiply by seven plus four root three. Divide by seven plus four root three. This is a minus b into a plus b. The denominator is forty nine minus forty eight, which is one. Numerator seven square, which is forty nine. 4 root 3 square which is 48 plus 2 into 7 into 4 plus 56 root 3 97 plus 56 root 3 is to 1 this is the answer wonderful question so beautiful question and we talking about ratio of the areas or that is ratio of the radii square or ratio of diameters square once you get that the middle triangle is an equilateral triangle the rest of the pieces fall in place